who are we? Why in the presence of some people we feel good and in the presence of other, others we do not? Many questions, many controversial answers. As we all know, we live in an era in which, unfortunately, it is still quite difficult to approach issues like soul or human energy. The human energy is a soul perceived through scientific knowledge, while the soul is a metaphysical dimension, its perception being possible through an artistic knowledge. The human is a being of contradictions. What makes him unique and a mystery is his spiritual configurations, which interferes with his insignificant nature. As we all know, we are always surrounded by emotions and energies, either positive or negative. The world is, has been, and will always be full of good and bad, because good and evil is the yin and yang of the human condition. First of all, I want to tell you that you deserve in your life to have some people who you enjoy spending time with, who appreciate you and your values, who support you. Now, I think that each of us felt at least once in his life forced to keep a person close, even if that person has a totally different set of ethics. I suppose that's how toxic relationships start. Lately, I have detached myself a little bit for the things I usually did to have the opportunity to observe the people I have around. I was surrounded by a lot of people, but yet alone. But with this opportunity, I realized that there are existing some types of toxic personalities. Have you ever been talking to someone who keeps interrupting you? They are always feeling that they are the most competent, they have to be the best, they have to do everything their way. These are the always need attention people. I found also some other types of toxic people like drama magnet. They are always negative, something is always wrong. Problem solved, no worries. They instantly fabricate a new one. Also, the jealous people, they are incredibly toxic. They have so much internal self-hate that they cannot be happy for anyone around them. The gossipers, they are always watching someone else's garden. Since they are talking only about others, they think of perfection. Did someone pop into your head as I, pop, as, as I talked about these toxic personality types? If you feel constantly that you have to solve someone else's problems, if you get sad, angry, or even depressed when you are around somebody, then in, you are in a toxic relationship. If you, uh, <laughs> the toxicity in our relationships with other people is actually an extension with the toxicity in our relationship to ourselves. I have met some emotional vampires in my life, but it all turned out good for me. Now, I know better myself. How about you?